<laughs> you okay there, buddy? <laughs> Exercise. How are you? <laughs> Sit. Yeah. He's my working partner. <laughs> yeah, he stay awake with me, you know, watching me working. Sometimes his eyes come. <laughs> I say, stay awake. <laughs> oh, what's it? Tank out today? What is this? Thanksgiving. Oh. Thanksgiving. We give thanks to God, right? Now we eat the cake. Wow. <laughs> How convenient! So we are thanking God, huh? Is that right? Okay, everybody put your hands together. And we thank God inside our heart for every good things that we have and every so-called not good thing that we have, because everything is good for us. Yeah. We thank you, God Almighty, cosmic benevolent beings, and all the goddesses from Yasku and beyond, for protecting us, elevating us, and reminding us to practice. We also thank all the gods is that we don't know yet for everything that we have, will have, or even not have. Because sometimes the thing we have is not always good for us, and sometimes the thing we don't have is good for us. We thank you for everything. We thank you for the peace, the enlightenment and liberation. Okay, that's good. God heard you. He said thank you to you <laughs> for being good boys, good girls. <laughs> How are you? Still there? Strong? <laughs> you together? No, huh? No need, huh? She's always independent, just like me. Mm. Long time no see, huh? Mm. Okay, listen. Uh, yes. It's good. You can say it again. Yeah. The Westerner. Westerner? Okay. From Italy. The man. Where are the men? Where are my men? Where are the men in my life? I don't see any. Where are you? Huh? I keep it for myself. Yeah? <laughs> you share. Ah, uh, we also have some more easy to share. Yeah. Here. Be careful your head. Share. Okay? Anybody else? There. There you go. Share together, please. I love you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yum yum. 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 Yum yum. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yum, yum. <laughs> Cut. Good girl, good girl, good girl. We can also eat mm -hmm. yum, yum. Ah, yum, yum, yum. Mm -hmm. yum, 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 yum. Made in Taiwan, made in Taiwan. Some more. Yeah, have it all. Have it. Yeah. So many women, huh? Okay, good, good. Have you been a good wife at home? Hmm? Or not? Yes or no? Yeah. Really? How come I don't see your husband ever here? <laughs> I only see you. <laughs> but it's funny, you know, I, I saw some photo from video. I saw mostly like most master are men, you know? Yeah, even older. Elder master who passed away went to heaven already. Mostly a man, yeah? So I'm the minority. <laughs> Maybe that's why you women support me, because you worry I'm alone, you know. 
in the man's world, you know, you worry for me. That's why the woman comes, protect me, right? Yeah, show that we have power, <laughs> woman power, right? Yeah, we women have a lot of power. Look at me, work all night and still sitting here is laughing. Huh? <laughs> so if, it, if that's not power, then what, right? <laughs> you can hear me with your ears plucked. <laughs> Okay, never mind, I'm going to speak Chinese now. Hmm? Yeah. Uh, get your heavenly ears open. <laughs> Nowadays we have so much miracles, and you're still asking for my miracles. I said, in this time, we have a lot of miracles. Everyone still wants to give me the power of the spirit. What does it mean? 你看,这个就是神通嘛 OK, oh, we have the cake, thank you God that that there's a Thanksgiving day, so I can have a cake. Wow, it's a long, <laughs> long waiting, once a year. Yeah. Well, they give me a lot of cakes, but mostly I just give it to workers. Yeah. I, I don't really like sweet too much. When I was in India, I craved it every day. Okay, uh, you are from different country, right? Okay, different country come up here. Where are you from? Australia, come here. And Mongolia. There you go. Thank you very much. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Thank you very much. Yeah, who are you? Huh? Mongolia, come here. Just symbolic. Every country come up. Okay? Men, one, woman, one. Okay? Mongolia, happy Thanksgiving Day. Uh, Africa, South Africa, come here, my love. Get fat for me. Because <laughs> if I eat all this cake, you know, I will not be able to fit in my design clothes. There you go. Happy Thanksgiving Day. Korea, of course. Every day we have different... Uh, Brother and sister come to see you, ah, uh, Taiwan people. 我说每天有不同的那个各地的兄弟姐妹来看你们啊,你们台湾人这么有福报,哈,有没有?太好了。Happy huh? Thanksgiving Day. How say in Korea? Long, I know. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Just come to Amida, ah. Uh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's all I know, okay. Then, uh, Mongolia. Mongolia, yes. There you go, girl. Happy Thanksgiving Day. How to say it in Mongolia? Okay. <laughs> yeah, she understood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Singapore. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Huh? Everything good, lah. Yeah. Singapore very beautiful, lah. Yeah. You're beautiful, la, yeah? You don't need to speak anything in Singapore. You just say anything and you add la onto it. <laughs> then they understand. You're welcome, <laughs> la. <laughs> USA, okay. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, you're welcome. Italy? Italy, okay. Happy Thanksgiving. You? Korea. Korea, yeah. yo. <laughs> That's correct, yeah? Oh, you understand. That's correct. yo. Yeah. There you go. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah. Anyone else from other country, please come quick, quick. <laughs> Where from? Hong Kong. Hong Kong, wow. Ni 
，你好靓，你好好人呐、啊。嗯、uh, ，That's all I know. Indonesia 啊、uh, ，Indonesia, how are you? <laughs> Indonesia, I speak Indo Indi, and I speak Chinese. Uh, they can now also English. Yeah, they speak English. Very good. I remember that. Yeah. Oh, it's well for Thanksgiving Day. There you go. Happy Thanksgiving. I don't know what tradition you follow, but since we have a cake, all tradition welcome. There you go. <laughs> come here, my love. Where did you come from? Malaysia. Malaysia, of course, I know that. Yeah, and then you became Germanized, right? Lucky for you, German is good country. I love Germany. I love Malaysia also, with all the jungle. Yeah, beautiful beaches, friendly people. Yeah, and you, who are you? Hmm? Who are you? Where from? <laughs> Tell me. Oh, you get no cake. What? Sweden and Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, who live in Sweden. Okay, why not? So you think you can have two pieces of cake? <laughs> because two country? Yeah, I give you one and a half. Okay. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving Day, and I'm glad to see you still well and kicking. <laughs> right. Âu Lạc, Việt Nam, đồng chí mạnh giỏi. Mm. Ah, we better don't have too many countries. The cake is very, <laughs> it's very small. Okay, we can make some miracle. Just don't look at the cake, then it will last longer. Don't look. <laughs> there you go, Vietnam. Ah, ngày ngày. Ngày cảm tạ ha, ngày cảm ngày tạ ơn ha, à, mạnh giỏi, ok đồng chí rồi. Canada, come here, wow, such a long way. You stay long, I hope. You know, be worth of your airplane ticket. <laughs> Is it okay? We we are very warm compared to Canada. <laughs> okay, for Canada, this is like summer. Yeah, look at me. This is Taiwan. You see that? Mm. Sunny, <laughs> colorful, and beautiful. Okay, who are you? Sweden. Sweden. Oh, that's also very far, my love. Thank you for coming. How you say, I love you in Swedish? Your Your day. Oh, good. Look at that. I'm multilingual. Your mm. day. There, my love. Here you go. Wow. How are you? How long can you afford holiday? I'm um, here until Thursday. Until Thursday only? Yeah. Okay. Have a good stay. Mm. <laughs> there you go. Happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Âu Lạc nữa. Âu Lạc hai người, một người thôi, một người nam, một người nữ. Hả? Okay. Ai da. Đông chít hả? Don't cheat, okay? <laughs> My cake cannot take the cheat. <laughs> it's good, it's good. Yeah, here you go. There you go. Happy Thanksgiving. Ngày tạ ơn, mạnh giỏi. Come here, next one. Any spiritual question that the spiritual desk cannot answer you? You can ask me, okay? Thank you for coming. We thank God for our Happiness and luck, huh? Mm. We are really lucky, no? Mm. It's good, yeah? yeah. You're happy? <laughs> yes, I'm sorry for the place. It's not like a Swedish royal palace or Buckingham, you know. But this is all I have. Mm. If you were born a few hundred years before, or a few thousand years before, I had palaces. And now somebody else living in it. I could not even enter. <laughs> you understand? They live in my palaces, and I couldn't come in. You know? If I try to come in and for some reason, then they will put me in jail. <laughs> understand that? Yeah. Okay. So this is life in the physical planet. 
Nobody recognizes nobody. Huh? We are born and die and born again and again, unless we have spiritual liberation. We could not always come back to our physical house, even though it was yours. Yeah, you probably stay there for a couple or more decades, but when you're gone from the physical body, nobody let you come back anymore. Understand that? Mm? Are you okay, everybody? Yes. You sit in outside. Sit inside the tent. Really? Yes. I still hear something. Okay. Whatever you say. So to keep me, yeah. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> See, master, not hungry. <laughs> See, master, warm. <laughs> warm. Then why you wear so many clothes? <laughs> Hat and look at all that, huh? No, oh, no, you okay, but look at them, you see? Yeah? Liars. Mm. <laughs> okay, just you're cute, you're not lying, you're just cute. Mm. Anyway, therefore, it's only heavens, you know, the highest possible heavens in the shadows world would house you forever. And they would recognize you all the time, no matter how much you change. Because in the Higher heaven, your physical don't change. I mean, you don't have physical body anymore, you just have the real body, and it's always radiant, brilliant. And a lot of lights around you, colorful or not colorful. So that is the place we should be, yeah? When we are in heavens, we never feel separation, yes. Even uh, it's a, not as high heaven as the fifth or sixth or seven, we don't feel separation anymore. Mm. And you can always have guests, you know? Like for example, you're on the fifth heaven, and somebody of your relatives or beloved with old friends, and you, they would like to visit, you can. You can invite them uh, for temporarily. Mm. And if you're good enough, I mean, if that person is almost good enough for fifth level, then they can always gather together a group of fifth level beings and send out some positive, strong, powerful energy, and then it's like a, like a beam of light, you know, and lift you up to the fifth level. Yes. yes, many beings together can do that. Otherwise, they can also like uh, put a protection around you from the fifth level protection and then take you up for visit. Yeah, that is nice, no? Just like here, we need visa. <laughs> Over there we need light, yeah, to come up to a different level, stronger light, stronger light. In the Tibetan Buddhism, there's a book called the Book of the Dead. When the person dies, before they die, they give him a lot of food to eat <laughs> and tell them, eat strongly so that you have a long way to go. <laughs> and please follow the light. The light, the dimmer light, the comfortable light, you don't follow that. You follow a strong one that even is feel like uncomfortable. If your level are not so high, of course you feel uncomfortable, yeah? But then that is the light you should follow. That's in the Tibetan Buddhism, old book. So the light that you see in meditation, yeah? many of you, of course, or a lot of you see inside, is very bright. Yeah? If a normal person see that, it would hurt. If they see it with their physical eyes, or if you see it with just physical eyes, without the help of your truly mm, strong power, then, then it would hurt your eyes, it would make you blind. Understand? Strong, so strong, and it could even burn your body. Therefore, go slowly. Eh? If you are not strong enough to go up to such a high level, to be a little patient, yeah? Otherwise, you might <laughs> be in trouble. You don't keep uh, saying to Master, Oh, Master Power, lift me up, lift me up. <laughs> Maybe you're not so very ready, okay? Yeah. You do as much as you can. Yeah? Meditate as many hours as you can and slowly build up your spiritual stamina. Then you can withstand higher power. Hmm? So it's just like you are children, when you are children, you cannot eat a lot of things. 
even though it's the best thing in the world. Your parents cannot give you a lot, just enough for you to digest, right? Or enough for you to assimilate, to grow. Mm? If too much of a good thing even, you die, no? you might tr- have trouble, right? Like vitamin, yeah? for example, vitamin, one bottle like this, multivitamin, there's 100, 100 pills in it. Oh, vitamin, ah, make you strong, make you grow, make your skin look good, your hair, you know, lustrous and all that. And then, oh, okay, let me take it all, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the whole bottle, and then one big bottle of water, blah, 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 blah. Flush it down. You think it's good? No. Oh. <laughs> Even it's a good thing, you must take it in the correct dose. Yeah, right? Similarly, spiritual power is the same, yeah? Yes. You must take it slowly, okay? Even though I would like to take more for the world and for myself also, but I can't, okay? Because I have a physical body and have to make sure that it stay with you for a longer time. So I cannot take a lot of spiritual power at one time, even though I can go to any world at any time. But I do good so far, yeah? <laughs> Reserved, yeah, reserve, emergency, cannot use. Huh? Because without that, I cannot go higher again and again. You see what I mean? Like you have a car, huh? You have a car, and it goes to reserved a petrol stage. You cannot take it out and give it to anybody. You must use it to go to the gas station, the nearest possible, yeah? And then you can continue, yeah? Even if you are very good heart and generous, but if somebody come and ask that, that you cannot give, okay? Then you cannot go home. You must go home. You have people waiting for you at home. You have emergency. You have work to do. Like if you're a doctor, it's even more so you need that. Not because you're not good-hearted or generous, Just you need that to get to the hospital. Patients are waiting for you. Emergency are depending on you for life, like that. If you're a normal person, okay, you can give your last drop of petroleum and gasoline, yes, and then you wait and wait and wait. Or you can call somebody to bring you from home, or your friend, you know, no matter how far away you sit there and wait for, uh, a petroleum from your friends or your family member to bring you, put it in your car, and then you can go home. But if you are a doctor, yeah, you should just go. The ordinary people can wait. They wait there, and somebody else may come and give them something. But not if you are a doctor and you need to go to the hospital right then, especially if emergency call, yeah, and a long distance. You spend all your petrol, and maybe you don't have a gas station so soon, for example, like that. You got it? Yes. You cannot just save the world, make peace, and then you're okay and sitting pretty, you know? It's, it's not the way it works in this world. Even though the goddesses have destroyed the controlling machine from all the planets, I mean, the soul is free, yeah? The soul is free to do what it wants. But that doesn't mean the karma that the humans have created since times in memory or just let it do what it wants. Yeah, understand? This is a problem. Hmm? But thank God that we will not have to create more karma in the other generation. You know, people will be more awakened even though they don't realize it. They don't realize it. Only you realize where you are, because I have told you, if you are like on second level, what kind of landmark you expect to see, what kind of uh, guidance you expect to hear, you know, through the melodious teaching inside. These are teaching, yeah? The melodious voice is the teaching, you know, without the human language, and the light is the guidance for you so that you know where you are. No? So sometimes you have a glimpse, you know, ah, I hear this, ah, I saw that. So I am on the second level, on the third level, or the fifth level. Yeah. Sometimes you come and go, the, the light fickle, because your concentration fickle. Yeah? You cannot always concentrate very well due to present karma. 
because the past karma we can erase. Master can do that. The present karma cannot. The present karma is the course of life, the way that you have to walk this life. Like you have to be a dentist, you have to be a surgeon, you have to be a mechanic, you have to be an engineer, or you have to be just a monk, you know, doing not physical or mundane work. Yeah, or you have to marry somebody, you have to bring up a couple of children, karma, in this lifetime. If you don't do it, you will have other problems. <laughs> you understand? Like you cannot run away from the rain. <laughs> you have somehow a little protection, but the course of life you have to finish. Okay? Because if the Master take all that away, then you have no reason to stay here anymore. You clean, you gone, you die. Understand? Yes. But you cannot just die like that. You die on time, in time. Believe me, when it's time, you, you cannot be late. Don't worry. <laughs> no special business, no important uh, meeting can stop you when you want to die. Yeah? When it's time come, even you are in the middle of the important meeting to your king, queen, or president, or anything, you just drop dead. Nobody can stop you. Okay? Therefore, at the time you are allotted in this lifetime, even though you have all this destiny or affinity or obligation or karma to regulate, you still can spare time to meditate. Okay? That's the only help for you. There's no need to run away from karma, from family. That's why I told you. After initiation, you do what you do, like before, eh? except not harm any other people and not to do anything that is not uh, befitting a dignified human. Yeah? That's all. And the rest, you just like before. Eh? If you have a husband, continue to love him, serve him. Hmm? If you have children, continue to guide them, love them. Yeah, that's your job. Hmm? Besides that, besides your duty, I mean your karma allotted, assignment. You also have time. You see, you have free time. Free time when? At night. You should not sleep. <laughs> then you have eight hours at least. Ne? So don't tell me you don't have time. You have time. Okay? Sometimes you feel very tired, you want to sleep, but that is, that is just habit. <laughs> or drink a coffee or tea or something, wash your face, cold water, sit again, meditate. Okay? Yes. And then uh, when you drop dead, okay, you drop dead. I cannot do anything, <laughs> but do your best, okay? At least at night, if you work daytime or you have family, daytime you're busy. Nighttime you have, okay? Save, save a little time at night. Yeah. You normally you sleep eight hours, deduct it, okay? Two hours from that. So you sleep six hours, you won't die, I promise. Yeah, yeah there are some research saying that some people who sleep less, they live longer. I don't know why. And then some people sleep too long, they also <laughs> live longer. <laughs> I know you like to choose the second one. <laughs> I also like it, but I can't afford it all the time. Yeah? So they say if people sleep from seven to eight hours, then they're just normal, you know? They live and die accordingly, according to the schedule of this planet. Like, Mostly people die at, I don't know, 70, 80, 90, yeah? And they call that already long life. So if you want to live longer, then either sleep a lot or sleep less. I advise you to sleep less, okay? <laughs> when we die, we can sleep a long, 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 long time already. <laughs> Why now, yeah? Life is still spring, right? We still have many things to do. Many people we want to love and many things we want to uh, experience, right? Yes, and uh, only one master we still want to see, you know. Uh, if she's still alive, so why die so soon, eh? So meditate, okay? Sleep less. <laughs> Take two hours, yeah? From your eight hours sleep, consider this is your time. And then in the day, you sit here and there, meditate ten minutes here, five minutes there, huh? fifteen minutes there. When you go to the bathroom, 
a toilet, you sit there, meditate, even two minutes, five minutes, it's all add up. Then you have two and a half hours, there you go. But the people who work for SMTV or anything to do with uh, our group must meditate more, no? one hour or two hours more. I have to meditate a lot more. The reason why the workers have to work more because they're serving the public. You see, the worker for SMTV or maybe other related, you know, SMCA's business, <laughs> you meditate more. Hmm. You serve the public, then of course you have good merit, you see, and you have to sit to meditate. Also have a little karma also, so you have to meditate to balance it, to digest your merit also. You see what I mean? Because if you have a lot of merit and you are not strong enough, then you can't digest it, it also make trouble for you. Hmm? And if you serve the public, maybe you share some of their karma, then also you need to cleanse it. Okay, huh? Hmm. But if you don't want to do that, then it's fine. <laughs> Nobody forces you to do to serve the world. Are you afraid of karma when you serve the world in different ways? No? No, oh, tough girls, <laughs> our boys. Hmm? Afraid? Scared of karma? No? Tell me the truth. <laughs> really? Not scared? No. Yes or no? Louder. A little bit. That's good. Honest guy. Who say no? I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. Well, I am very afraid of karma, for one, because I'm afraid, okay? I have the brain that is programmed to be afraid of things that are not pleasant, things that are painful, hmm? things that are disagreeable to human other side of the brain, okay? Other side of the brain like to enjoy, like to have happiness, like to have pleasure, yeah? like to have time to do everything you want for yourself, for this big, great, fat self. And the, <laughs> the other side of the brain, of course, afraid to lose that. Understand that? Mm. Left side, right, right side, something like that. So I keep telling you, oh, don't work too hard. The world take care of themselves. <laughs> you go enjoy, you know? Uh, yeah, take time for yourself. Have a boyfriend, you know, have a husband, have a wife, have a family, have your own private heavens. Yeah? Why bother about other people? We don't know them. Who is she anyway? She's old already. If she dies, she dies. You know, oh, she's too young. She has time. She can take care of herself. <laughs> Whatever. We have all kinds of excuses. I'm afraid also, hmm? because I have experienced pains and sorrows. I don't care where from, okay? Pain is still pain, right? Sorrow is still sorrow. Hmm? For the body to bear the sorrow, the pain, is also not a desirable thing for any humans in the body, right? Because if you don't have the body, then maybe it's different. But it's not true also. If you are in the astral level, hmm? for example, you die, the moment you die, for normal people, huh? and nobody take you right up to the higher level, then you are hanging around your uh, relatives and friends, and you don't have a human body anymore, but you have astral body. You feel pains even more, because you can't express it. You see your relatives and friends crying for you, but you cannot do anything. You hug them, they don't feel nothing. You talk to them, they don't hear anything. You understand? Yes. And then just a few weeks, few months, or a year, or a little longer later, you see another man come in your house. Oh, and he hugs her and she feels it. Understand? Then you feel terrible. If you cannot liberate it yourself at that time. Or the same with woman, same with a wife who dies and the husband takes in somebody else. You understand me? Sleep on your bed. <laughs> yeah. And while you are standing by or hugging both of them, they don't feel nothing. Okay? Uh, there's a joke. <laughs> I just remember. <laughs> there was a wife, you know. There was still husband and wife, yeah? And she's uh, kind of uh, dying, yeah? And she asked him, After I die, will you marry somebody else? 
He said, yeah, maybe after sometimes, maybe I'll be lonely and I do that. She said, okay, then this house you will also share with her? Yeah. He said, yes. And then how about some of my beautiful dress or that, you give it to her? He said, yes, if you die, you know, you can't wear it, so it's a waste, you know, not to give it to <laughs> another woman. Just, I just give it so that I can remember you. You know, when she wears it, if she wears it, I would think it's you, you know, just for that memory. Okay, liar, yeah. <laughs> we all know. <laughs> and then he said, okay, then how about my golf set? Will you also give it to her to play golf? He said, no, that's not. So she asked, how so? Why not? Something special about my golf set that you want to keep it for yourself? He said, no, no, she's left-handed. <laughs> <laughs> Got it? <laughs> no, don't understand nothing. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. Okay, you're laughing, but it's because it's not yours. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because it's just somebody else, or it's a joke. But if it's a reality, you know, I don't think you will laugh. Mm. Yeah, this is the thing in this world we can not really trust anything. You know, emotions is very, you know, unstable things. Yeah, humans' love is based mostly either chemical reaction or emotion or mental. These things are not very stable. Hmm? Therefore, uh, relationships are not always stable. Not to talk about karma, you know? When the karma comes, you, t you feel like you fell in love with this girl or fell in love with that man. And after the karma dissolved, you're meant to be together just for that short period of time to make up for whatever you didn't do it last time, your yeah, last life. And then it's done. Then both of you feel like there's nothing more to it. Hmm? Or at least one of you feel like there's nothing more to it. And then if you have children, maybe you hang around with each other for the children's sake, but you don't feel like the first days or first months anymore, or the first year even. Yeah. Normally, afterward. Yeah. So don't worry if you get married, because nothing much after a while. Yeah? You don't feel that excited anymore <laughs> together after a while. There was a, another joke. Huh? <laughs> a patient came to a doctor and asked, Doctor, I really love to have so much this kind of physical interaction with a woman. I cannot help it. I just dream about it all day. What to do, doctor? What to do? Doctor say, Well, why don't you get married? Yeah. And the, the, the man said, but what for? I really try to avoid women. And they said, no, after marriage, you will tap her off. <laughs> you slow down and then almost <laughs> maybe non-existent. Any married people? Is that true? Yes, true. Yeah, don't be sad. This is normal things in life. <laughs> this is normal. Nothing wrong with you. Nothing wrong with you. Okay? It's just life is wrong. Okay? <laughs> Everything in this life is wrong. Huh? They couple us with wrong people, <laughs> wrong woman. Uh, they cheated us. They uh, tempted us with a wrong man, a wrong woman. You know, everything is wrong in this world. They don't tell us in advance that you're going to suffer. Yeah. They don't ever let us have a clue that after three months it's over. Yeah. They don't forewarn you that this is not going to work the way you imagine. It's not fairy tale. It's not magic. They don't warn you like that. They just, oh my God, I must have her. I must have him. There's no logic anymore. No reason. Nobody can tell you anything. At that moment, that stop you. You understand? You are blind, deaf, and dumb to the whole world. Yeah. You only have one person in mind. Even master is. <laughs> Go aside, Master, go, go. <laughs> Just stay on one side. You say, stay out of it. <laughs> master, you stay out of this. <laughs> not this time, Master, not this time, not now. <laughs> and then later, Master, <laughs> after a while, you know, either a girlfriend, boyfriend, relationship, or married, Master, 
Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you didn't listen. <laughs> yeah? You have a similar or at least more or less experience? A little similar at least, right? Yes or no? Yes. Okay, good. At least you keep the honest <laughs> precept. Yeah, so it's nothing wrong with you, okay? Nothing wrong with your relationship. It's just life is wrong. This life is all making trouble for you. It's not very kind, not very kind, okay? Maybe they, this life gives you enough food to eat, fine. Hmm? Gives you enough wealth to take care of yourself, you know, you're well, you're not lacking of anything. But that's just all about this life can have for you. Hmm? The only thing that nourishing us forever is a spiritual power, a master power, a power inside you that always take care of you, always give you sustenance, always support you, always love you, never reject you. Outside maybe look like, yeah, as she don't see you often or she don't talk to you or she don't hug you or he doesn't touch your head or bless you, but inside, always take care of you 24-7 and above that even. Mm. That's the only thing. Okay. That's, yeah, that's the only thing we can rely on, okay? Yes. So uh, no need to go find another man or <laughs> check in another chick, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Every chick has similar things, you know? <laughs> Every handsome block has the same thing. They are blocks, you see? <laughs> and they are chicks, yeah? <laughs> it just look like it was okay after a while, you know? Is it just that, yeah? Mm. Okay then, I'll let you go and enjoy your dinner and the, the cakes that I gave you. Mm. I'll see you again. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Thank you for your faith in me, who carries the master power for you. Thank you for helping. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for loving me. Okay? Thank you for your sacrifice for the world in different ways. I appreciate that all the time. I appreciate that well all the time. God bless you. Come to Amita. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. <laughs> ah, okay. Come to Amita. Uh, thank you, Sese. Yeah. Vielen Dank. <laughs> See you. Hmm. See you next time. Huh? Thank you. Thank you for your good wish. I try. Okay. Yes, I'm trying all the time. <laughs> but I cannot just. Not like you, that's a problem. Mm. I also love to see you, yes, because we are friends, yes? You are the only friends that I know that exist. <laughs> other people, they are not here, yeah? I love all the people, but you are my friends. I love you, Master. I know, I know, my Thank love. Thank you for having me. I know, my love. I really love to go everywhere. But how far can I go? <laughs> you know what I mean? Before I used to go around different country, always somebody who could not see me because, 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 because. And that person sent somebody else to come to me and say, Master, can you go and see that person? <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Even if I want to, I cannot keep traveling forever. Mm -hmm. I stay here, I do the job. I, whenever you have time, you come to see me. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Love you. Oh, Ani man. Hi. Hello. 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 <laughs> oh, I gotta yeah. see you, right? Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Ah, thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I love you guys. Thank you. 没有下雨了哈，太好了。Okay, 你们去吃饭。Go eat, huh?
，大概饿了啊，多吃一点，冷嘛，懂吗？ You eat a little bit more to keep warm, okay? Keep warm. I love you. 你们是谁？台湾吗？啊，不回家。啊，来这留的几天是吗？哦，等一下才回去。哦，刚才都讲英文，你们听不到怎么办呢？有有翻译啊？哪里？真的吗？台湾也有翻译啊？哦，厉害厉害！我刚才还对不起你们呢。好了，太好了，以后就是这样，我讲什么文都可以是吗？哦、oh, ，太好了，谢谢，谢谢安排，谢谢。I love that, I love that. Do that again. But many thousand, we have enough. We have enough machine. Really? 你们每个人都有那个翻译机啊？不可思议。<笑>这样还要我神通 ？OK， 谢谢 ，Thank you, all of you. 嗯。谢谢。谢谢你，谢谢大家，真的可以听到。台语还是国语？可以。那那那些老老的老陈的那些，他不懂国语怎么办呢？啊，没有台语给他，没有客家话给他。他有没有？小树也要听啊。以后能不能多多讲台语，好吗？还有有没有饼干糖果？那老人家好像还没。刚才有没有给你饼干？没，有了。啊，太好了哦，那就已经给了，不用啊，谢谢。上证嘛 ，OK， 上证啊，里面是重要，外面是好玩 ，OK。好，多谢大家。保护 ，OK， 多保护，互相保护哈。上帝保佑 ，OK。今天是护法安排那个台上是吗？是。OK。谢谢了，安排的好，做的好啊，拜拜，好爱你们，爱你们，这是台湾啊，没有翻译啊，都有哇，太好了，爱你哦，爱你爱你爱你，拜拜晚安 ，Love you， 都是台湾啊，都有翻译啊。真的哇，我都好高兴了。下一站要安排那个福建话啊 ，OK， 一说台湾话，嗯，我们在台湾嘛，不能忽略台湾人啊 ，OK。好。因为很多老老人啊，老代啊，他们都不懂国语啊，他们来不及学啊，啊，那些老的，他问哪一个人会懂台湾话，就给他 ，OK。多一个没关系嘛，好吗？多一个翻译人员，既然已经这么好，那我们更好的 ，OK？ 
我们手牵手共走嘛